The movie opens with Ray and Ronnie, a couple, sharing an intimate moment in their bedroom. However, after coitus, Ronnie suddenly feels unwell, gets a panic attack, and ends up vomiting. Ray comforts him, assuring him that he'll be okay. Afterward, despite Ray trying to stop Ronnie, he heads off to fulfill his duty as the Tennessee National Guard. Before leaving, he gives a watch to his girlfriend, stating that the watches are connected to each other and their beeps will make them feel closer despite being at a distance. Ronnie kisses her and leaves for town, leaving Ray emotionally chasing his car. After her boyfriend drives away, Ray remains on the grass, acting strangely. In the next scene, we see Ray being intimate with another guy. Here, we get to know that she is a sex addict who needs to satisfy herself as soon as possible. After the rigorous physical intimacy with the guy, she meets her mother on her way back home. Her mother tries to talk to her, but Ray does not reply and just keeps walking, ignoring her. Elsewhere, we are introduced to Lazarus, a former guitarist who has now become a farmer. He is currently talking to his friend, Reverend, about his wife, whom he has always loved and never thrown his hands at. Lazarus mentions that his wife wants to divorce him and marry his own brother. Hearing this, a shocked Reverend feels sad for his friend, prays for him, and leaves. Next, Lazarus enters a restaurant and joins his wife, Rose, at a table. Over coffee, they discuss their plans to divorce, but the conversation turns into a heated argument. Lazarus requests Rose to withdraw the divorce petition she filed, but she refuses, stating that he can never satisfy her physically, as his brother does. After this, Lazarus returns home and takes out his frustration by driving his tractor through Rose's flower garden in the backyard, seeking solace. He goes to a bar where a woman, Mayella, confesses her love for him and proposes to him for intercourse. But despite the temptation, Lazarus resists her advances and refuses the offer. Later, his brother Dake visits him at the bar and mentions that he and Rose won't move without Lazarus's approval. He also says that he loves his brother a lot. However, Lazarus questions how Dake can love him while having an affair with his wife. Their heated confrontation leads to Lazarus injuring his own hands by attacking Dake with a bottle. Following this, Lazarus leaves the bar and returns home. On the same evening, Ray attends a local house party with her friends. She confides in them, expressing her belief that Ronnie doesn't care about her since she pleaded for him to stay. Ray seeks solace in drinking and acknowledges that she has been coughing. When her friend suggests going home, Ray responds that being at home is worse than staying at the party. Right then, their dealer shows up and sells them narcotics. Ray consumes the drugs and becomes intoxicated. Later, she notices Gil, Ronnie's friend, and suspects him of spying on her. She confronts him, asserting her right to enjoy time with her friends. Gil clarifies that he wasn't spying for Ronnie and even makes advances towards Ray. However, she firmly rejects him. Meanwhile, Lazarus is at home, coping with the pain of his failed marriage by breaking things. He throws out belongings, tunes his guitar, and passionately sings a song in remembrance of his wife. At the party, Ray and her friends interact with some guys. One of them, Teron, has coitus with Ray and then leaves her on the field. When she wakes up, Gil offers her a ride home in his truck. During the ride, he mentions that he knows about her sexual encounters, but questions why she spends time with Tehran. Gil expresses his dislike for Tehran and advises her to stay away from him. He then attempts to take advantage of Ray, but she mocks his private parts and compares it to Tehran's. This angers Gil, and he violently hits Ray until she loses consciousness, believing she is dead. He then pushes her out of the truck and drives away. The next morning, Lazarus receives a call from his pastor, asking why he hasn't been to church. He mentions that he heard about Lazarus' encounter with Dake and suggests he should come to church more often. Later, while taking out the trash, Lazarus notices Ray lying on the ground, wounded. Worried, he picks her up and carries her home, covering her body and placing her on the sofa. In her unconscious state, Ray keeps mentioning Tehran, making Lazarus think that the man has hurt her. He then goes to a pharmacy to buy medicine for her. He isn't sure what to get and inquires with Mrs. Angela, a church member who works there. Angela asks why he hasn't come to church and he makes more excuses, saying his cousin is sick and needs cough medicine. Angela, who seems to like him, kindly gives him the medicine for free and also teaches him how to feed the patient. Back at home, Ray feels a burning sensation and falls from the sofa to the floor. Before going home, Lazarus decides to talk to Tehran to learn more about Ray. When they meet, he describes Ray's condition, making Tehran think Lazarus wants to have coitus with her. Tehran then reveals that Ray is a nymphomaniac and sleeps with anyone who approaches her. After gathering the information, Lazarus returns home and lifts Ray from the floor. He finds her feverish and acting strangely. At the same time, when Lazarus touches her, Ray tries to initiate physical contact, shocking him. In a panic, he grabs his Bible, rushes out of the house, and starts reading it. 
Later, he places Ray in a bathtub filled with ice and sits next to her, reading the Bible. He also advises her to bear the cold to reduce her fever. At night, when Ray's wristwatch beeps, she runs out of the house, shouting Ronnie's name, remembering their past intimacy. Fortunately, Lazarus manages to calm her down and brings her back inside. After this, Ray tries to make advances on him, but Lazarus firmly rejects her. Instead, he sings to her until she falls asleep and goes to his room to play the guitar while holding a chain. The next day, Lazarus checks his crops while playing music. After this, when he enters the house for a drink, he finds that Ray has finally gained consciousness after two days. She wakes up and Lazarus explains that he found her beaten and wounded by the roadside. Concerned about repaying him, Ray admits that she has no money and Lazarus replies to her that he doesn't want any payment. Ray then suggests to her that he should let her go since he doesn't need money, but Lazarus tells her he isn't finished with her and wants to break the devil's hold on her. Shockingly, Ray realizes she is chained to a radiator and begs Lazarus to free her. However, he refuses, questioning why she allows guys to take advantage of her. Ray shouts back, insisting Lazarus has no right to speak to her that way and mentions that it's none of his business. She then asks if he wants to have coitus with her, but to her dismay, Lazarus firmly declines. Frustrated, Ray pushes him away and tries to escape, screaming for help, but no one responds. After a while, Lazarus forcefully brings her back inside and offers her food. Later, while tending to her wounds, Lazarus gets distracted and starts talking about Rose cheating on him and taking their child. In his emotional state, he unintentionally hurts Ray, causing her to push him away. Feeling manipulated, Ray accuses him of trying to win her over for coitus. This makes Lazarus angry and he leaves the room. At night, Ray feels a strong desire for intimacy, so she wraps the chain around her body for comfort. The following morning, before she wakes up, Lazarus leaves to buy clothes for her and deliver farm products to Angela at the pharmacy. Meanwhile, Ray grows restless at Lazarus's home and tries to open her chains. Right then, a young boy named Lincoln comes to the house, searching for Lazarus and calling out his name. Ray, who is naked, hears this and tries to open the door but fails. Before Lincoln goes too far, he hears some noise coming from Lazarus's house and decides to check. He walks back and opens the door, where Ray, already in a state of desire, charges at Lincoln, seeking intimacy with him. At the same time, Lazarus arrives in a semi-truck and enters the house. He catches Lincoln and Ray in the act and throws the young boy out. In the next scene, Reverend comes to visit Lazarus, but the latter refuses to hear any preaching and even threatens him to leave. Despite the tension, Reverend reminds Lazarus of their close bond and listens to his story about Ray. Lazarus then takes his friend inside the house and finds Ray naked and chained up. Taken aback, Reverend tells Lazarus that she is not the type of woman he should be engaging with. He reveals that he knows Ray and that she has an STD. In response, Lazarus convinces his friend that he has not touched Ray and requests Reverend to impart some sense into her. Meanwhile, Ronnie has returned from deployment and is looking for his girlfriend. He meets Gil at the bar and inquires to him if he has seen Ray. He also explains that he has been sent home due to severe anxiety and his inability to use a weapon during the war. In reply, Gil speaks ill about Ray, engaging Ronnie. He laughs and confesses that shortly after he left for deployment, Ray forced herself on him. And whenever Ronnie is away, she engages in sexual activities with other men. Filled with rage, Ronnie attacks Gil, takes his car, and drives off to find Ray. Back at home, Lazarus and Ray toast to freedom. He unchains her and tells her that she is free to leave. Ray asks for a favor and requests that Lazarus sing for her. He happily obliges and as he sings, he shares the painful story of his wife Rose and their terminated pregnancy. Right then, the rain starts pouring down along with a thunderstorm. This makes Ray feel scared, but still, she asks Lazarus to continue singing. She recalls her own traumatic experiences of childhood molestation and eventually drifts off to sleep. The next day, Lazarus takes Ray to town and asks if she's ready to leave. The latter agrees and accompanies him to the supermarket to buy some things. There, Lazarus meets Angela and they share a laugh. At the same time, Ray sees her mother, Kel, and tries to make amends. Kel is surprised to see her daughter wearing full clothes and acting decent, but still declines her request to have coffee together. With the rude reply, Ray accuses her mother of allowing her father to abuse her in the past and vents her anger by throwing food atoms at her. Meanwhile, Lazarus, who is enjoying Angela's beautiful song outside the superstore, notices a commotion inside the supermarket where Ray is. He rushes over and finds the security guards trying to restrain her. Without hesitation, he picks up Ray and carries her, ignoring Angela's question about their relationship. Once back home, Lazarus helps Ray take a bath 
and soothes her. He then suggests they go to a bar and tells her to get ready. As they drive away in the car, Ray's watch suddenly beeps. She turns off the alarm but hears the same sound nearby. Lazarus asks about what's bothering her but Ray dismisses it. At the bar, after a few drinks, Lazarus grabs his guitar and performs on stage, delighting the audience. Ray also joins in, dancing with joy. Meanwhile, Ronnie watches all this from outside. The next morning, Lazarus wakes up and finds Ray playing the guitar and singing a song. He then joins her and teaches her a few songs. Suddenly, Ronnie bursts in and assumes that the two had coitus. In a fit of rage, he punches Lazarus and points a gun at him. However, he cannot bring himself to pull the trigger. Right then, Ronnie gets a panic attack and Ray steps in to calm him down while Lazarus calls Reverend for assistance. In the following scene, as Reverend is talking with the duo, Ronnie expresses his desire to see his girlfriend recover. When it's Ray's turn to speak, she explains her deep love for Ronnie and how he is the only one who can calm her during those episodes. Ray pleads with Ronnie not to give up on her as she would feel lost without him. In the last scene, Lazarus drives to Angela's place and asks for her help once more. Here, it is revealed that Ronnie and Ray are getting married. Ronnie struggles to tie a knot and Lincoln comes in to help him as his best man. Meanwhile, the bride, Ray, seems worried and Lazarus assures her that she can handle it. After the wedding, Ronnie and Ray drive off in a van while Lazarus and Angela are seen holding hands. On the road, Ronnie experiences yet another panic attack. When a truck honks at him, he pulls over and the movie ends with Ray comforting him by singing a song that Lazarus used to sing until he calms down. 